First off, I want to start by saying thank you to my parents for being there for me from day one. I really appreciate everything you guys have done for me and making me the person I am today. I also want to say thank you to CBA, especially Coach Josh and Coach Kerry. I thank you for helping me become the best basketball player I am today. I have enjoyed my time here at Crestwood. I will never forget the relationship I have between teachers and friends here. She's become a huge part of our community and she'll be a big part of our Crestwood family forever. Uh, she's made a big impact in the couple months she's been here and uh, we're really excited to watch where she goes. So once uh, Philly started to get comfortable at Crestwood, we'd send some videos out of her to different coaches and so forth. And uh, coaches start to call and, you know, she's a no brainer. Her and her family um, decided where, where she would go to school. And uh, she was really strong on, on, you know, one particular school that had all what she wanted. And she got, you know, good relationships with, you know, some of the players and, um, you know, she decided where she wants to go. As a player, she, she continues to grow every day. And I think her, her gift right now is that she just wants to be great. She's striving for more, continuously trying to work hard and is improving. Um, she's very selfish about her development, which is something that we, we really push here at Crestwood. And, and it's just individual growth. I think that's the, the key to, to a successful team is that everybody is, is committed to their individual growth, which they know is going to result in um, a, a better team and the team being successful as a whole. I want to say thank you to Coach Marlowe and Coach Jay for always being tough for me and always finding time to help me fix my mistakes. You know, Coach Marlowe tried, started to uh, really work with her on her game because we wanted her to leave here a lot better than what she came. I also want to say a big thank you to Coach Rowe for not only being a coach, but also being my guardian. I got to know her really good and became like a father figure to her. And I uh, started to mentor her and show her the ropes and and just, you know, been there for her uh, whenever she needed me. I would just say always work hard. She's a really hard worker and she just needs to take it to the next level so she can compete at the level she wants to, because I know she can do great things. So her, her energy um, in, in the gym is amazing because she's that balance of working hard, but enjoying what you're doing and having fun. Um, she pushes her teammates, like she's the one that's clapping on the baseline, um, rooting kids on and different things like that. And I think that's something that's going to transfer very well for her at the, the collegiate level because she's already bought into what it means to be a good teammate. It's been really great having Filipina here. Her energy has been fantastic and whatever school she decides to go to, they're going to be very lucky to have her. And everyone in the Crestwood community really looks forward to watching her play in March Madness with some of our alumni in the next uh, years to come. I'm looking forward to, to seeing her play and, and on that big screen and, and doing what she loves to do um, with that infectious smile and continuing to make everyone at Crestwood in Alberta, Canada, Ghana, and, and across the world, all of us cheering for her and just being fans of her like we already are. And I, I can't wait to, to see her have fun and be who she is and show the world the, the love that she has for the game. Philly's the next in line of uh, the Division One prospects that we've gotten, developed, educated, and help them get off to the next level. Thank you to all the universities that offered me a scholarship to attend your school and play ball. University of Miami, Louisville, Oregon, Maryland, and Texas. But I think I know where I want to go now. I'll be signing with